All right, this is Don again, and I got another Ibanez. This one's a nice one. This is, uh, we got one of these AG75 um, bees with a sunburst, and this is one of their jazz, their small jazz boxes. We're really excited to see this guy come in, and uh, we got it in the case here. Let's go ahead and see what's in the case. We got the warranty. There's the owner's manual, which I think at this point, since it has its own case, we're going to uh, leave that in there. Also, you get the truss rod adjustment wrench so that stays in there as well and we'll move this case out of the way so we can uh, inspect this guitar and see how awesome it is all right I set this down out of the way and like with everything else first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and scan the serial number and make sure it gets in our system so we have record of it so I'll be right back okay all right Initial inspection here, first thing on our list. Everything looks awesome. I don't see there's no damage, and we would see that. I also look at the case when we do that too. The case looked good. So let me get my pen, and we'll start doing uh, our checklist. Actually, the first thing is checked. But let me mark down the exact model number on our sheet here. This is an AG75BS. Okay. Get that out of the way, do a little stretching of the strings, make sure we can get it in tune. Okay, there was a, this actually was in tune, and now I stretch it, and you can see it's out of tune. That's the number one thing that most players forget to do when they get a new guitar. Uh, they forget to, when they put some new strings on it, you gotta stretch them in a little bit and get them used to uh, being where they're supposed to be. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the tuner on here and put a quick tune on this guy. I feel a little more comfortable about that. I always do it twice, because if you get a couple strings that are pretty far out, and you tighten those up, that's going to change the tension on the neck. liking it already but it changes the tension on the neck and then it throws the other ones out a little bit so it's always a good thing to go through one or a uh, couple times and if they're really out maybe two or three times all right stretch the strings uh, we got an open string buzz so that's good to go and let's take a quick look at the truss rod and see how that looks all right I'm gonna pull this tuner off and get it out of my line of sight and here again Looks pretty good. Maybe could be tightened just a little bit. Yeah, let's see how easy that is. This will give me a chance to show you a really nice feature that uh, that Ibanez does. They do this little flip door up here at your truss rod cover. If you can see that, I'll try to move in here a little bit. And I'll probably try to do some inserts. Take some B-roll and get some inserts so I can show you a couple of these things uh, as I do these. Tighten it just a little bit. Uh, it might have went a little too far. Let's back that off. I love to see that. Whenever you do a slight adjustment and it moves and you don't have to really force your way, that's the best thing. Because then you know it was built properly and we're in good shape. And that door just snaps closed and we're ready to go. So for an initial uh, adjustment, that's real easy. One thing I see already that I like, I like these uh, knurled knobs. They got a really nice grip on those. Makes them easy to move. All right. Truss rod's good. Let's check our bridge height. Now, we can't adjust this one. I'm going to grab my gauge here. A lot of times with electrics, we try to do, uh, you know, roughly 50. And we're measuring at the 12th fret here. So I like to do 50. 
and to 70, and boy, we're right there. And that may not be what everybody prefers. Uh, we've selected that as kind of an industry standard. On electrics, acoustics are a touch higher, basses are a little higher yet. And, uh, and that gets us really close to where we want to be. And then we leave it up to the customer what they want. Uh, if somebody were to buy this today, we would offer them a free setup and we would sit with them and, and try to get exactly what they would like. So that looks good. So let's check that off our list here. And let's check that nut slot height. Boy, looking pretty good. Here again, if you're a light player like me, if this were going to be my guitar, I would bring those down just ever so slightly, but a little bit harder player. That's perfect. Okay, we can check the intonation here. Throw my tuner back on because we do have adjustment quick. And uh, most cases, if it's really out, then we would probably send this to the shop and let the shop guys do this because we're just doing an initial inspection here, trying to get it ready to go on the floor. So what I'm doing is I'm playing the open string, double checking the tune. Set this down here. That's good. And this should be pretty good shape from the... That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm making sure that the open string is set on, and when I play the octave, I want to make sure it's still in tune. And so far, we're looking great on this one. Perfect. So we're in great shape there. So shop guys are not going to get their hands on this one yet. All right, intonation. All right. Um, let's check our frets. Look for high frets here. Sounds perfect. Let's check across here. Nice. It's another awesome one. Check some bends up here on the 12th. No issues there. Alright, we're checking the pots, and I see we've got some electric ones we haven't done with the acoustics. We're checking the pots, make sure that they all turn right, make sure they're not loose, which means when they get to 10, they shouldn't move at all. They should just stop. If it's loose, it might want to feel like it wants to move further. That's just because the pot's not tightened into the body, so those look good. And check the tightness of the output jack. And I'm doing this with my fingers. If it's loose, I can actually loosen it with my finger. That means that we would send, we would actually tighten that up, maybe send it to the shop and have them uh, do that. Uh, looking at on this, we want to double check our, just to do a quick inspection of our pickup height. And what I do there is I hold the strings down all the way up at the end of the fretboard. And I just want to make sure that our height is not really far away and not too close either. Maybe get it close between a quarter, eighth and a quarter of an inch away, and we could be more specific. Um, and that looks really good there. So check that pickup switch seems real solid and tight. Feels good. There's no battery. There's no trim system. Let's do the shake test. seems really good. Hardware, bridge, things like that. Now you'll notice they've got a protective strip underneath here. We're going to leave that there for now. I like to protect the top as much as possible. As soon as the first or the customer buys it, uh, then that's uh, we would take that off for them if they want us to or they could do it themselves. Hardware. I'm checking the tuners, making sure they're tight. And that's good. So hardware is good. One other thing I always I forgot to check. Let's check this hardware here. Sometimes this will come loose. 
and that seems really good. All right, now I'm using my lights here again to take a real close look at the finish. And it looks perfect, as I would expect. Headstock looks good. Check those off. And check that nut junction there. That feels good. Looks good. Back plate, no back plate in this one. Side dots are okay. Headstock looks fine. Fingerboard surface, let's take a quick look. And this looks really good. Sometimes you can see they look maybe a little dry. Uh, and that could happen, so then we would take it to the shop and uh, have them treat that fingerboard. Because the fingerboard, this, this rosewood here, uh, is untreated wood. So you have to be a little, little cautious and uh, do some maintenance on that. Uh, so you let that dry, then the wood could crack. So you don't want that to happen. And that looks good. Frets, just do a quick look at the frets. Make sure there's no wear on the fret surfaces. Just kind of look down this way and I can see if anything is lifting up or, or not sitting properly. That looks good. And then we always check the fret ends. I run my fingers along here. And I'm using a very light touch here. And they feel really good. This one's in pretty good shape. Okay, inlay work. We've got the standard rectangle markers here. Those look pretty good. That's good. All right, let's get my fingerprints off of this thing. Kind of rub down the top, any of this chrome that's shiny. Knock off some of the uh, packaging dust. That looks good. All right, get the headstock. I saw a fingerprint up there. Boy, that really looks nice. I like that little emblem right there. That looks really good. All right. Back, sides, headstock. There's no trim arm. And I put that other, that trust rod wrench was in there. And it doesn't have that. Warranty information was in there. Manual's in there. And we got that and that. Hang tag we have to do yet. Pick up covers. Make sure they're snug. No, no issues there. Those look good pit guard. It has its, uh, all these pit guards have a plastic coating and even the, the pickups have a plastic protective coating and that's up to the customer to take those off uh, so they can uh, keep those looking great until they own it. That's good. Strap buttons are good. I looked at those before. I'll double check here quick. Those are fine. They're nice and tight. And no tuner on that one. So this one gives passes with the flying colors. Okay, we'll take that and put that up front. So if you want to check this one out, come in and take a look at it. It looks incredible, plays great. And uh, we're gonna, when we take them up near the amps, we're gonna plug them in and make sure all the electronics work too. So.